Hey there. In the last video, we put together a basic merger that allowed us to merge two documents together. This time, we're going to build on that and make something that will work for any number of documents. I threw together a quick sketch of what our final product should look like. You see a lot of the same elements as our last script, where we have some labels um, for file name, page, start, and uh, entry boxes, and then buttons here to add PDFs and save. What's new is we have this list box, which is a different type of widget that we can use in TK Enter that'll display a list of items and an ability to remove PDFs once we've added them. We have to treat the list box a little bit differently than the other widgets that we've already used. So for now, we're just gonna get this layout set up. So let's go to our editor, make a new file that we can call PDF GUI Merger. And right off the bat, we will import TK Enter. Oops, let me. And this just shortens up some of our calls doing it this way. Oops, and we can grab all that file dialog stuff as well. Now that we have that, let's make a list here that will contain all of the PDFs that we create and our root. A lot of this will be pretty similar uh, to our last script, but with so many differences, I figured it was better to start from scratch this time. And you'll notice that we don't have ones after any of this stuff um, because we're going to do things a little bit better. Okay, so for our GUI, uh, let's make that first label up at the top. And this will be pretty much the same. Man, I cannot spell. And our grid will be a little bit different because we can use this column span, which means that this widget element will start at row zero and column zero, but it will span four columns across. And since our entire GUI will be four columns, this will center this up nicely. And now if we go from left to right this time, we have those two buttons to add the PDFs. We can just give this command to load. And let's put these in put this in row two. Like that. Then our button to remove PDFs. that and we'll just put this right below and I want a comma there not a period okay our list box we're going to call this box and we just call it like this we want to do a little bit to it as well so we can bind an action so this is kind of like adding a command except what this will do is when we click on an item um, it'll trigger this display uh, function that we'll make soon like that and then let's place it So we'll start this in row one. We'll say that it's going to go across four rows. And we'll put it in column one. Like that. Okay, 
Now we go to our last set of columns here. We're going to have a couple items for our file. And our page counter. And then finally our entry boxes for our start and end pages. finally our end page Finally, we can add our save button. Give it a command for save PDF. And let's do the same thing for the grid here, where we start it in column zero, but give it a column span of four to stretch it out across. Um, I guess I could add the last little bit for the uh, padding. that finish it up with the main loop and if I typed in everything correctly this should work no 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 oh, okay whoops obviously we need to make our functions and we'll just say pass for now. I think it was
was load, save PDF, uh, display. And that should be everything. Um, oh, remove. Okay, let's try this again. Oh, this is interesting. Uh, oh, <laughs> text instead of test. Let's try that. Okay, cool. So this looks about what we want. Um, where we have a way to add a PDF or move a PDF. We have this list box in here um, that doesn't really do anything for us. We can actually see an error message pop up down here if I click inside of this um, because it's trying to, it thinks there's an action being done here and it's trying to run that, um, trying to run that function. Uh, we have our file over here, our pages here, a start and an end. So we're gonna stop here and the next video will fill out all of our uh, functions and we should have a pretty nice uh, little script here. All right, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.